Welcome to the teaching workshop for developmental education at Florida State College Jacksonville Open Campus. Today this workshop is going to cover several topics. First, who are our developmental education students? Second, what are the best practices for developmental education instructors? Third, what instructor-driven tools will enhance student success as well as retention? Fourth, who do I contact if I need faculty support? And lastly, who do I contact if my students need additional support? So first, who are our developmental education students? Typically, our developmental education department enrolls some of the neediest students, yet they also have the weakest educational backgrounds, and thus they require the greatest amount of experienced faculty for this targeted population of students. And unfortunately, many of our online developmental education students do not have online experience. Uh, sometimes they sign up for the course because there are no traditional courses left open for them to enroll in. Therefore, they're often intimidated by the online experience. So how can faculty members reduce anxiety for their students while also encouraging them to participate in the online environment? First, faculty can provide consistent and well-described organization of content followed by the conventions used in Blackboard. Second, students should be continually oriented as to where they are in the materials as well as the progression of the course. Third, distinguish between required online materials as well as optional materials. Online and on the web information tends to blur together to many online students. And lastly, provide visual interest and good design to enhance motivation and interest in the content. So what are the best practices for developmental education instructors? First, post all instructional materials by the Thursday before the course begins. Second, post your office hours and be available during the times that you have published on the syllabus as well as in Blackboard. The office hours required for the first course will be two hours and then one additional hour per each additional course. Post weekly announcements that promote the use of college resources. Examples are the library, the master student tutor, the virtual student learning center, smart thinking tutors, etc. Fourth, use the Blackboard electronic gradebook to record grades. And lastly, respond to each student's biography personally in the discussion board area within the next office hours. Additional best practices for developmental education instructors include providing weekly feedback that not only comments on the student's strengths, but also comments on the areas that need improvement. Next, implement message threading in the discussion board area to organize discussions and avoid confusion. You should post notes to the discussion board at least three to four times per week. Post weekly deliverables on your announcements page. This should include hints, tips, or other clarifications on assignments on the Sunday before class starts. Best practices for developmental education instructors continued. Post weekly wrap-ups to provide a sense of closure to the most recently completed class activities or class discussions. Next, remain visible and interactive in the discussion board area and the announcement page as required. Ensure that you're not absent from these areas more than two consecutive days at any time during a given instructional week. If a student has not submitted an assignment, send that student an email. Please send it to the student's college email address as well as their personal email address. You should do that during the first office hours following the assignment's due date. You should also send a copy to the Developmental Education Advisor. Best Practices Continued Also provide weekly URL links of related material and or suggestions for supplemental reading. This helps encourage critical thinking skills and also enhances the learner environment. Online students tend to uh, need additional motivation at times and this is helpful for that process. Also send your students a sample welcome note. The primary element of the welcome note will ask 
that your student reply to the email and provide you with certain information such as a secondary email, a preferred phone number, and the time zone in which they reside. I will be sending you a sample welcome note that you may review and add to if you like. So what instructor-driven tools will enhance student success and retention for our developmental education students? First, we have the early alert system. Faculty are expected to identify students who are experiencing academic difficulties, personal difficulties, or anything else that's resulting in a negative class performance. If they've missed assignments or have missed two or more class periods, please send an early alert. We will have a faculty early alert referral form available for you. You can then submit it through the Virtual Student Learning Center. Next, if you have questions about your course shell or Blackboard issues, please contact B. Harrison. If you need technical assistance, please call FSCJ Technical Support. And lastly, if you need help with a policy issue or an administrative issue, please call Dr. Jose Fierro. He is the Associate Dean of Liberal Arts and Sciences for Open Campus. He can be reached by phone or email at jfierro at fscj.edu. So lastly, who do faculty contact if their students need additional support? If you have questions about office hours, just remember you're required to do a minimum of two hours per week per course. If you have an additional course, that is one hour per additional course. Just remember that instructors are what we consider to be the first line of defense for our students. The early alert must be utilized in a timely manner in order to maximize its opportunity to actually affect success. Unfortunately, if you wait beyond three or four weeks to submit the early alert, the student typically gets very behind and it's hard for him or her to catch up. So please submit your early alert as soon as you notice that a student is having trouble or has missed two or more classes. The Virtual Student Learning Center must be marketed to students in order to effectively promote its viability. There have been new buttons put directly into your Blackboard course that will transport a student directly from their course to the Virtual Student Learning Center. The Master Student Program which is peer-mediated tutorial options, must also be marketed to students in the classroom. Please use the discussion board, the announcement page, and the syllabus to promote the master student. And lastly, you also have a smart thinking tutorial option for students. You will find that located in the tools section of your Blackboard course. I encourage you to also post information about smart thinking on the discussion board, the announcement page, as well as in your syllabus. I hope that this tutorial has helped you learn a little bit more about expectations of Open Campus for their faculty members at FSCJ. And again, please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.